right, now we're going to talk about the uh, Turkish get up. So I'm, I'll demonstrate one each side and um, I'll kind of hit the high points as we're going through, then we'll break it down. So we, we start off the same, just like when we're doing the uh, armbar stretch, as far as hand insertion, right? Make sure you got, you got your four, false grip, then uh, we're just coming up. Okay, now here's the deal, right? When we press, we're still gonna post the same way. This hand is 45 degrees out, just like it did a back fall, side fall, break fall, whatever. This hand stays, you know what I mean? Has that 45 degree angle just like that, right? Never like that, always just like that. So we're here guys, right? I'm gonna use my thumb as a sight. Wherever this thumb is in relation to the ceiling, I try to keep that thumb there as I'm sitting up. Okay, so I'm here, all, all, everything's going this way, right? Here and up. Once I'm here, then I'm pushing the shoulder down and I'm getting this leg Knees right underneath my hip, here. Then from here, foot's underneath my knee, and I come up. So perfect position. That thumb is still pointing backwards. Real important. When I come back down, same thing. I'm just changing levels, right? Right here. Real important where this hand goes. It needs to be 45 degrees off this hip. Little turn, this hip's gonna go back. And I just relax that arm. That hip's controlling everything. Then boom, that's it, I'm right there. Then I just slide through. Now at this point, if I feel like I don't have enough space to get my foot through without getting caught, then you just create space, it's not a big deal. And you just here, then slowly back to the forearm, back to the back, okay? So same thing on the other side. You just wanna be nice and smooth and hit, hit those points. So we're here, here, drive all the way to I'm here. Pushing that shoulder away, driving off the heel, coming back, right? Here. Good position, up. Coming back through. Here, right? Little turn. Hip goes back. And just slide through. Okay? So, so that's pretty much that. So guys, the fine points here, right? is when we're sitting up. So this is some of the things I see wrong all the time. It is one, one, your hand position. One, well, foot position, right where it needs to be, close to the button to the outside. Hand position is 45 degrees, never changes. This 45 degrees, never changes. Okay, when you sit up, it's, it really helps if you do an active exhale. All the way up, boom. Okay, I see a lot of people when your hand's here, you'll see this foot pop up a lot, right? You see it all the time. It's because there's not, there's not a strong connection in your core. So doing that active exhale all the way up, keep those abs tight, keep that foot down, right? Sometimes when people, if that foot's popping up or whatever, you'll see this arm creep up here. Now they're being a big fat cheater, right? Because now it's like wicked easy. Oh yeah, and they just get up, you know? Where if your arm's here, it's gonna recruit a lot more core. It's, they're using relatively lightweight, whatever. So it's like, you wanna, don't cheat, don't be a cheater. So you hear, boom, right up, okay? So that's the sit-up portion. And you get super strong on the sit-up portion. And you can just isolate that, boom, 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 and just do reps. Now the transition to kneeling. A lot of times when people pause here to relax the shoulder, right? This is a weak position for the shoulder. You wanna push it down, right? Before I transition, ensure that the shoulder is down. What that does, it puts your shoulder in a strong position, engages the lat, also loads this heel. Notice too how that this shin is straight up and down. It has to be, because we're gonna get good power transfer. Hip comes up just enough to get this leg through. And look where that knee is directly underneath my hip. Look where it is in relation to my hand. A lot of times guys don't pull that leg through enough, they're here, then they struggle and they're trying to get up. When you slide it through, point that toe, shin stays close to the mat, boom. This is where we are, okay? So let's just talk about hand position when I go back down real quick. Because this is where people, they mess this up all the time. Common error is like people want to reach back and put their hand on the ground. Happens to everybody, and, and to me, it's just as instinctive as Person's walking, they slip, hand goes back, 
then they, you know, then they break the wrist or jack up the shoulder. So it's the same thing. When people are under stress here, they reach back, and it's the worst thing you could do. What you want to do is just thumb points away, guys. Little turn, right? Notice if I'm if I'm just square, my arm's out here. Right? I just want to do a little turn. So now it's like 45 degrees right there. Right? This hip, I pull it back. This is the this is this controls everything. It's just like a hydraulic lift, right? Then you jack up your vehicle with, then you hit that little screw and lowers it down. Dude, that's what you want. It's a little turn. It's this is controlling the weight. Boom. Now I'm in a solid position and I slide right back through. Back to my forearm, back to my back. So you're up, push, transition. Boom. Make sure that, that heels right underneath, curls back toes, right to the top.